Welcome back everyone. I'm here with another opening. It's a Friday night uh, right before I go out to a, on a dinner date with my wife so I figured I might as well just uh, be drinking on camera and share a drink with you. If you're drinking alongside, cheers. Um, figured keep it casual today. I don't have too much to open. Let me take a sip. Um, but it is a nice uh, item that I wanted to open up on camera um, and just kind of chill with you today. Maybe talk a little bit about where I see the market going and why I'm picking up items like this. Um, so I have been on my, my intended buying spree. I think I mentioned last time it's been hard to find a whole bunch of decent deals to buy. There's not a lot of the market right now in general. Um, people are not selling a lot. People are not buying a lot. There's not a lot happening. This is probably because everyone feels a little bit broke with all the inflation that's happening alongside uh, all assets going down. You know, I, I don't really follow the crypto markets that closely, but I know crypto's down a lot. Uh, stock market I follow, that's down quite a bit too. I mean, it's leveling out, but who knows how long it'll stay that leveled out. I am trying to... Uh, put more cash into really just all assets now. Um, I, I sat out a little bit of the last few months and had been selling some things and I'm looking to be buying now because I think we will be on an uptrend. Um, but who knows? I can't predict the market. I just know it's better to buy cheap than to buy expensive. <laughs> so um, I do want to talk a little bit about where I see uh, people talking about the market. Um, we have... Drucken Miller, he's a uh, financial guru who actually stated he thinks we're going to have that lost decade. Um, if you've ever seen any of my videos talking about uh, the history of the stock market, uh, I talk a bit about the, the 70s and the time of the lost decade when uh, inflation was going up, cost of gas started to get insane, and uh, rates were just... Uh, going up and going up, so bonds were going down, stocks were crashing, and nothing was really making any money. And we kind of seem to be in that case now. I think a lot of that was due to um, things just going crazy at COVID time, like uh, <laughs> uh, when we have a pandemic happening and the stock market just doesn't care and just goes to the moon. It was kind of crazy. Um, but, you know, that's why you don't time the market. You don't know when it's going to go up and when it's going to go down precisely. Um... But, you know, you, you get a sense of, in general, when things are getting overvalued versus when they are, are cheap. So it's not about instantly getting in and out at the precise, precise month, right? <laughs> it's about uh, just, in general, sensing that things are really highly priced, everyone agrees, it can go higher. Who knows before the bubble pops, right? Who knows when it's going to happen? So you don't want to get out of equities or anything risky completely. Um, same thing with magic cards. You don't ever really want to like get out of magic cards or before something's happening or get all completely into it. Um, but you can get a sense of when you should start shifting resources from one thing to another. So in the end of 2021, I started shifting my money from stocks and equity investing into magic cards because I figured that would be more stable because the stock market was getting really expensive. That proved to be a great thing. I wouldn't exactly call it market timing. Again, I, I'm, I didn't pick like a month, a week, or anything like that. I decided I'm going to get into this hobby and invest quite a bit and buy things. And with that, I just knew the stock market was really expensive. Well, now it's a little cheaper. So I am looking to buy equities a little bit before I buy magic cards. That said, I would love, I have tens of thousands of dollars to spend on magic cards. I could deploy it any second if I found a good deal. But nobody's selling right now. <laughs> so who knows? Uh, we might get that yearly trend happening where right around Christmas, November time or so, um, you know, there's a lot more deals available, people selling in general, and um, also a lot more people buying, right, um, before the holidays. So then you get your... Um, you know, it's a brand new year, bonuses happen, bump, and then you get your tax returns in April bump. <laughs> so, uh, this time of year, uh, just before now, summer till now, is typically the worst time of year for Magic cards. Um, but I don't know. It's, uh, it's come down more when I expect it to go up, and I don't know how long that will be. Um, so, my point is, I'm trying to buy a lot. I do have, I want to be buying more, but I do have one giant purchase that I just made that uh, uh, I already paid the money. It's all about 
uh, packaging, getting the inventory together and shipping it out from, from the seller to me. So I'm waiting for that video. Um, so just a cliffhanger for when that comes. I'll put probably a title to indicate that this is going to be the video that has the big reveal of the big purchase I did. Um, but I have more capital to deploy that I would like to um, deploy as well. So again, if you are selling cards, feel free to reach out to me, manatutormtg at gmail.com. Uh, I'm happy to buy. Uh, and we'll just look a little bit into the small things I'm buying that happen to be available. Let me get another drink here. Cheers. All right. Now, I have opened this item on camera before, not this particular one, obviously. Um, but um, it is something I'm looking to invest more in because here's the thing. I think I mentioned Drucken Miller, the analyst, and then I went on tangent. Druckenmiller predicts the Dow, which for those that aren't familiar, it's a uh, kind of like a stock market index. There are certain companies that are part of that that we track. <clears throat> he predicts that, I don't want to get the address on camera on the other side because I was lazy today and did not block that off. I just wanted to um, open this up on camera uh, and share a drink with you. Um, he predicts that the Dow will be lower in 10 years. That is very, very rare. The stock market, almost always, I'd forget the exact percentage of the time, but it, it's got to be like rolling time periods, 95% or so of the time, the stock market is up after 10 years. Now, he didn't say the stock market was going to be down in that period of time. He said the Dow, which is more of your um, your value stocks, usually, your... your um, Long-lasting companies that have been around for a while, paying a dividend, that are not usually expected to grow as high as your up-and-coming newcomers, right, that are high growth. Uh, so, you know, he might be kind of predicting the market a little bit there and saying, okay, well, new stocks might be up, but your your granddaddies are going to be down. I, I don't know what the truth is going to be, but I do find that hard to believe. I, I, I would bet against him, but it's possible. Um, now, where I see it almost impossible to be down after 10 years is in this product. Oh, and apparently we have uh, multiple layers here. I don't mind that. So let's do the reveal. I've been told I have to build the suspense a little bit more on camera, so uh, here's your suspense as I pull out this product that's inside. <laughs> And I probably won't put this up as a thumbnail either, even though it tends to get more clicks. I, I want you to enjoy the suspense. So I got a 6th edition uh, tournament pack. The, this pack was my bread and butter of the first things I started buying when I was playing uh, in my very early years that, um, you know, I, I started, say, with Portal, but... Um, you know, these were what I was buying when I got more to the advanced level, right? Yeah, right there. I was I was past beginner into advanced and playing and Friday Night Magic and, and winning a good amount. <laughs> so, um, I, but I didn't move up to expert yet, right? <laughs> it's funny how they had those uh, beginner, advanced, expert level packs. Uh, anyway, uh, I bought a lot of these. So this, this item brings back a lot of memories. It looks to be in pretty good condition. We got the old, what does that say there? I can't really see it on camera. $12 on the pack. <laughs> it was more than $12, <laughs> but I find it very hard to believe that these will not double in price within 10 years. Now, who knows if I'll still be um, opening up packs on YouTube in 10 years. I think I will be. I expect to be in this long term, but, uh, you know, we'll mark this date <laughs> and we'll see if this uh, prediction lives well into the future. But Magic's been going for 30. It's stronger than ever. I see no reason it will die in 10 years. I'm not saying it'll live forever. So, do, you know, I'm, I, who knows, in like 100 years it might die. <laughs> you know, But 10 years, it's going to be around. And the thing is, my most bought packs today are in falling order. Fallen Empires, 5th edition, 4th edition. And I will say 7th edition, maybe not in the next order, but is not far behind. Now that is because that edition has foils. 6th edition does not have foils. It definitely makes a difference. But following the trends, people that are my age, getting closer to retirement, or that started a little bit after the first wave of Magic, 
as they get more money and get closer into a time where they can spend it, they're going to go after this. Nostalgia. It, it, it's money. Get these now, guys. They're the cheapest out of all those packs I just mentioned other than Fallen Empires. And that's because they, they overprinted that like crazy. And uh, honestly, Fallen Empires is a good deal. <laughs> Buy that too. Um, but this is a core set that people started with. And it's just going to go up. I don't see any way around it. It's kind of the best bet that I have in Magic. Um, I think it'll take a while, right? Like, don't don't expect to bump in a year or two. I think this is going to be the 5 to 10 year range is when you're going to want to be selling these after buying them today. But they're quite a bit cheaper than the following other sets I mentioned. I think those ones are good value too. 4th, 5th, 7th, all great. Um, but the cheapest is 6th. Get it now. It's not going to stay cheap forever. Thanks everyone. Cheers to a happy Friday. Going out for a dinner date. See you next time. Bye-bye.